Praise the Most High, family. Praise the Highest today, Yahuwah, through Yahushua HaMashiach. It is a gorgeous day here in the Carolinas, family, and I'm so glad to see it. So glad to see it. Thank the Most High for this day, one that He has given us to rejoice in and to be glad. Hallelujah, to be glad, family. And I am glad today. Praise the most high. I was saying on the prior recording how the flies and gnats are back. <laughs> and there old big walls buzzing my ear. Praise the most high. I was always taught you don't mess with them, they won't mess with you. Unless you smell too sweet. <laughs> Sometimes you have on too much cologne or perfume and they want to see if you a flower or something. <laughs> Praise the highest today, family. I'm so excited about today. I just finished a job and had one more to go to, but it canceled. However, I still get paid. Praise the most high. Thank the Father. We do have a grand idea I wanted to share, but first I hope everyone is well, and that you're able, like myself, to get out and enjoy this day. Getting in some fresh air, some sunshine, and hopefully some exercise. It is a gorgeous day here in the Carolinas today, family. We have a nice breeze blowing, quite warm. As you see, I'm in short sleeves. Beautiful day. We do have an idea, like I said, and it's one that's gonna test some of our faith, which it tests mine around seven, eight years ago. Yeah, seven or eight years ago, maybe around nine. But it's called Pastor or Pacifier. <laughs> Here's the reason I say pastor all the time. <laughs> Not only because that's um, short for pacifier, because that's, uh, that's what most of them are doing, just giving you a pacifier. Not even, even giving you the milk of the word, let alone the meat, but just pacifying. Giving you a little taste, just like Hasatan did with Adam and Eve. Gave him a little taste, but the rest was just lies. Praise the Most High. Let's get into this idea. And first, you know I like to keep things simple. Let's look up the word pacifier. Pacifier means a person or thing that pacifies someone or something. And we wrote in our notes, for the most part, the pastor is there confirming what you are, you and your Abba Yah talked about all that week. Mm -mm. He's confirming what you and the, the Most High talked about all week. See, the whole point is when you have the Ruach HaKadosh family, he's going to lead you into all truth. And he's not going to have you not lining up with what pastor's saying. The pastor or your teacher or more. If you're in the right spot. If you're in the right fellowship, Everything he says is going to be a confirming word. Line right on up with the Ruach that's been telling you all week. Now he may give a, a prophesying word. And a lot of times I learn time that that's going to be for the group. Hmm. Praise the Most High. Now it may be for an individual. We're not denying that. But a lot of times family, he's just confirming the word. And of course he gives new words, but I wanted to keep this kind of centered on one idea. That you need the Ruach HaKadosh yourself leading you into all truth. Not just a pacifier. And we wrote in our notes, if you, we already spoke that. Most pastors don't even give the milk of the word, let alone the solid meat of the word. They're given a pacifying thought or sermon without any real rock of nourishment 
for spiritual nourishment. A tickling ear speech. A tickling ear speech. And our main text for today is 2 Timothy 4. And it says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Uh oh, that means they're not going to stand for it. They won't hear it. They're not going to let you speak to them about some sound doctrine, just like this idea for today. They don't want to hear this because they know it's true. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. So they have an itching ears, so they're going to heap to themselves teachers that's going to satisfy their own lust. Enough said. No more need to be said about that. And we know this is true. Because what folks want to hear today is a self, the selfish doctrine. Have what you say. You're going to be rich, nothing missing, nothing broken. And you know that's a lie right there because the text says many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Most High delivered them out of the all. We can't seem to... Um, to have common sense about the most high's word. We make it um we bend it. <laughs> we bend it and put that round solid word and try to put it into a square and it don't work. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. And family it's too late in the season to be um chasing fables and see what fables are it's just like we spoke up here up, up top they're giving a, a nice story what we say a pacifying thought or sermon without any real Morocco nourishment a tickling ear speech fables stories and see that's what most Pastors, bishops, teachers have turned the Most High's word into a book with good stories. You see, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth is that's a, our history book. That's our book, written by Hebrews for Hebrews. And they took it and flipped it so they can um, hold us down in the struggle. Because we always um, tend to strive for the Most High's Word and His Spirit, because that's just who we are. It's in our DNA. But we got so far from it being hard here to Him. We didn't want to keep them laws, statutes, and commands. So He said, okay, I'm going to let you. I'm going to give you over to your own lust. Oh, boy. And you know what happens with sin over um, season? It turns into death. And our people work. Killed. <laughs> Our people were killed, baby. Hence the dry bones. Not only just dead bones, but dried up bones. Sun scorched bones. Praise the most how he sent his wind into all the four corners of the earth. And woke us up. Hallelujah. And family, we're going to look at another script or two. And this one is Matthew 7 and 15. And it says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Uh oh, they're wolves. So they're trying to, um, they bloodthirsty. They're trying to eat you up for their, their own lust. For their homes, for their cars, for that M O N E Y, mm, they gotta have it. Making a dollar dollar bill, it's a habit. They can't quit, they can't kick, they have a fit if they don't hit that lick. Praise the Most High. Ravening wolves. That means they don't care about you. Not at all. Just as the text says, a good shepherd cares for the sheep. But 
that shepherd don't care is a hireling. <laughs> he just hired out for a season. So you know a hireling don't really care about the sheep like the owner would. Or the pastor, that's just a hireling. You, you hear what you said, don't you? <laughs> he said a hireling. Because he's talking about them being that itching ear doctrine preacher. That they preach what the um, people want them to preach. They're hired on to take care of the board. And um, their main customers. Praise the most high family. Then we look at um, 1 Peter 2, 2 through 4. And it says, as, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that you may grow by thereby. If so, you have tasted that the Most High is gracious. It says, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, <laughs> that you may grow by it. And see, family, that's that's why it's so imperative that when you first come into this awakening that you get with the right people and not with an itching ear doctrine preacher or teacher. Someone that's just trying to get you the bank bank card to swipe in <laughs> and your pocketbook open. No. You need to have somebody that's gonna tell you the truth. Who says, come out from amongst them and be separate, says the Most High. And touch not the unclean thing. That means you need to start getting yourself together. What the text says, purge, purge yourself from them things. Them things that so easily beset you. Them things that broke you down. That have you doing the same thing every time. Hurting yourself. Mm killing yourself, hurting your own feelings. Then we looked at Hebrews 5, 12 through 14. For in the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of the Most High Yahuwah, and are become such as have need of milk, and not of strong meat. Is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. Or a baby. <laughs> and want to stay a baby for all their lives. But strong meat belongs to them that are full of that pardon me, but strong meat. But strong meat belongs to them that are of full age. Even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both evil and good, both good and evil. Mm-mm. Family, did y'all catch that? Those who, by reason of use, oh boy, they use that word, they study it. So you gotta put that word to use, family. You gotta test the word, or test the most high by his word, what he said. You say, Father, you said this here in such and such a script. Now you know you, all things work together for my good and that you have perfect timing for every season. Now I see this here in the word. I'm, I'm exercising my faith in this word. Now you direct me to this script. So I ask you to work this out in my life according to your riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Through your shaman Praise the most high. Praise the most high. Pastor or pacify. Uh-uh. And you do know a pacify is a fake milk. <laughs> a fake um breast milk. Fake. It's not even real. So it's not giving you any kind of nourishment. It's only selling you alive. From amongst them to be separate, says the Most High. And touch not the unclean God. And we'll put in the recording praise the Most High. So, family, what we're saying today are you being passive?
saying, Pastor, we need to go deeper. We need some meat. Praise the most high. And we all grow together. Because what you got to realize is Pastor don't have it all either. He don't know it all either. So you got to go to the most high for his notion. And the most high teach him, he'll teach others. But praise the most high family. That's going to be my time. Stay up and keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom.